Awesome. When I was 13, my younger brother Paul and I, we got off the school bus one day. We head straight to the barn to see our horses, Amy and Pepper. Amy, this beautiful reddish brown, and Pepper, he was black with a white stripe. We couldn't wait to see him. We ran as fast as we could all the way there. We get up to the gate, and it's wide open. We rush into the barn, and we check every stall. No horses. We tear out and look in the pastures. No horses. We check the woods. We look in the fields. We ask the neighbors. No horses. Finally, I'm like, I'll tell Dad. So we go in and find him reading the paper. And I'm like, Dad, the gate was wide open and the horses ran away. We had to sell the horses today. We just don't have the money to keep them. But I loved them. And they were gone. In that moment, I knew I would never again allow someone to take something away from me that I loved, especially for money. And soon after that, I decided I'm going to be a dentist. You know, do a few quick exams, fix a few teeth, earn a ton of money, right? <laughs> yeah. So that's how 17 years later I find myself moving my practice into the brand new building I just had built. And I'm sitting amongst the boxes and they're piled high to the ceiling and I can smell the brand new ADEC equipment still wrapped in plastic. <laughs> and then it hits me. I am over a million dollars in debt. I just added the responsibility of owning a building to my already long list, and I don't even know if I like being a dentist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. So I dug in. I had commitments to make, debts to pay, and I struggled through some really dark times. I um, woke up in the middle of the night so often, just filled with anxiety about the debt. Would I be able to make payroll that week? Or uh, I have a case that I started it. I don't even know how to finish. And I'm completely in the dark as to how to lead my team and deal with those dynamics. So instead of reaching out for help, I did the logical thing. I drink a lot. <laughs> yeah. I fired employees and I hired new ones because I thought that was the answer. I, um, I got divorced again and switched spouses thinking that was it. And then it dawns on me that I'm the one that needs to change. So I hire a coach and to this day is one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. But the most impactful coach was not the one that I paid. It was my horse, Gypsy, who is at home in my barn. She was more impactful because while my human coach told me with words the lessons I needed to learn, she showed me through experience, which was so much more memorable. For example, things were not going well with my team. As I mentioned, I wasn't a very good leader. And my two-legged coach said over and over, Bethany, you've got to change your bossy, micromanaging leadership style. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll study them all, got it, we'll change it. But when the rubber hit the road, I didn't know how. Till one day, I'm on my horse, Gypsy, and we're competing in a local speed event where we're running around barrels for time. And I'm like, I'm hitting her and yeah, yelling and go Gypsy. Pretty much the way I tried to motivate my team. And in the middle of the run, she stops. Boom, that was it. She wouldn't move no matter what I did. I was completely embarrassed. And that's when I got it. Gypsy knows what she's doing. I'm in her way. Same with my team. I had trained them. I need to trust them and get out of their way. And because of that moment, I was finally able to truly embody a new leadership style that was positive in the office. 
So another lesson I learned in those years was that it is not my passion to restore teeth for the rest of my life. I long to restore hearts and spirits the way my coaches did for me. So I completed a two-year master certification program called Touched by a Horse. And I am now one of only 200 certified equine gestalt coaches on the planet today and the only one who specializes in working with dentists and their teams. So how do I transfer the wisdom from horse to human? Well, I'll give you an example. A few years ago, a client I'll call Jill came in. She called for an appointment with me. She's a dentist, a new mom, completely overwhelmed with her business. And she, she came and sat down and our session began as most do. We're under a big covered arena and we're sitting in chairs outside of a round pen and my horse Bella was in the pen. And we spoke for a while and when it became clear that her session needed to focus on filling herself back up, taking care of herself. It was time. Jill, go ahead and step into the pen with Bella and please walk in a circle and say out loud, how do you take care of yourself every day? What's one thing you do? She couldn't come up with one thing. She struggled a while, and suddenly Bella walks over, lays down in front of her feet, and starts licking her own hoof, which is amazing, because horses are not self-grooming animals. Then Bella lays down flat from nose to tail and starts breathing deeply. Jill was stunned, and she burst into tears because she knew Bella was showing her what self-care looks like. And because of that experience, she was able to be open to some skillful coaching on my part to help her dump that old pattern of putting herself last and move forward with a plan for self-care that she still uses today. Dentistry is such a noble profession. It can also be extremely stressful. And more dentists today die from early stress-related cardiovascular disease than for any other reason. And tragically, our suicide rate is still said to be one of the highest of any profession. I believe the horse's essential gift to humanity is one of healing and uplifting our hearts and spirits. And I'm committed to bringing that gift to dentistry. We need to be healthy and whole in order to best care for our patients and our families. And it starts with self-care. So whatever that means to you, I invite you to do some of it every single day. And if you have a chance, definitely go nuzzle a muzzle. I'm Bethany Pizix of Braveheart Gestalt Coaching, Restoration of the Human Spirit. Thank you. Thank you.